Well, this We're is going to be start. a long video. Yeah. <laughs> Not for you guys, for us. So today is July 9th, July, yeah, July 9th, and 2019. Yeah. The, if you guys didn't know, I guess let's give some background. I don't know who's watching this video. This is Megan. I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And we are currently in the process of applying to grad school for physical therapy. Um, the application cycle just opened a couple days ago. And so we wanted to, leading up to this, we knew we wanted to document the process a little bit. And I don't honestly know how long this process is going to be. I yeah. don't know if it's going to go all the way until January. I feel like that's the latest it will go or if it's going to be like much sooner than that. But we wanted to, like there's not that much information out there on the application yeah. process. And so we wanted to do this to help anyone else out in the future going through this. So what our plan is for what this video will show is the application cycle. I just missed my finger doing that. So applying, getting all that done, kind of talking about that a little bit. And then after that, interviews for grad school. And then maybe if we probably get the big in. end of this video will be either like saying that we got in. I don't know if we're gonna do like a separate reveal yeah. for the score. I going think to. I don't wanna like I'm kind of iffy on this because of like I don't want people to feel like they have comparisons, but I also feel like it's helpful to know other people's stats so like that could maybe be something we include at the end of this video but again I'm or not that could be a complete separate sure, video or we're not video. sure like I feel like this could be the journey and then we might do a separate video about how do we get in if we get in yeah you know so uh I think the reason I want to do this is because I've looked on YouTube before and I feel like there's not a lot of information about the application process it's mostly just people that have gotten in being like just apply or whatever and like get in obviously like that's what you have to do but I just feel like hopefully this will be helpful, at least interesting if you aren't interested in applying to PT school. I know a lot of you guys are just invested in like our, our journey and our lives and so hopefully you'll be happy to see us on this journey and don't skip to the end because that's, that's not, not fair. fair. <laughs> I have to document this whole thing so. So just watch the whole thing and enjoy. It is August 2nd right now, and we are both working on writing essays. out our essay stuff. I'm hoping to finish a full draft of mine today and then send it to someone that I want to edit it, hopefully, and then hopefully. I'm jealous of you. I still want to try aside because originally my like essay that I have fully written for my writing class is about like having divorced parents. Which technically like challenges. she didn't do that personal statement based off of the prompt. It was just kind of like the same idea ish. Yeah. But like I feel like anyone can have divorced parents and I want to have something that like they can read and be like, oh, like that's like that person. Mm hmm So I'm trying to think outside the box. Um I did like a lot of my drafting yesterday when I was, we're at our dad's work right now because he can't drive himself because he just had surgery. So we're kind of just like, okay, we'll, we'll get some work done too while we're waiting for him to finish up work. So when I was here yesterday, I did like the first half of my draft. And so I'm hoping to try and like finish it up. And even if it's like, I think what I have right now is good, but I think like finishing it off is gonna be like a little rockier, but I just like need someone to start editing it and then Hopefully they can give me some good advice. Other than that, we got our transcript request sent out yesterday, which was much needed. But yeah, things are going pretty good right now and like those circles are slowly starting to fill themselves up. Um, yeah. Update you guys, I gave Sierra help with an idea and she's just yeah. typing away now, planning it out. Right now I'm trying to outline it and then hopefully I'll get potentially a full draft done today. I might still work on it when we leave our dad's office, but I'm feeling a little inspired. Like I don't have just like some sort of BS topic. Yeah, so I think we good. picked a good topic for you. Yeah, I picked it pretty much. <laughs> Update, I was able to finish a draft of my essay and I submitted it to that one person that I'm having edit it and hopefully she agrees and will edit it for me. So, all good stuff. Sierra got some good work done on hers. So that's a pretty big update for today. Go us. All right. Good luck. All right guys, it is Sierra. I just wanted to show 
that my references have all been submitted. So as far as things that PTCAS, which is the centralized system, needs, it's waiting on my transcript. Hopefully that'll be sometime early this coming week. Right now it's Sunday, so hopefully starting tomorrow it'll kind of pick up. And then I'm waiting for two more um, of my observation hours to be verified. I am also still in the process of trying to figure out an essay topic. I know it seemed like we were onto something, like probably the last time I talked about my essay topic. But I'm just not sure what I want to do, and I like thought about that topic some more, and I just wasn't sure if it's what I wanted to do. But I really want to get a rough draft done soon so that I can submit a rough draft, or like, you know, what I would think would be like my finished draft, but it obviously like won't be submitted to my editor or whatever that I'm gonna hire. Because that's probably gonna take like up to a week to get done, and I don't know if Megan and I have shared our goal for submitting everything, but we want to submit our applications by August 15th. It's currently August 4th, so hopefully that'll work. All right guys, this is Sierra, it's August 6th. I have three of my four overall things completed. Uh, the last person I was waiting on to confirm my observation hours, I think I had two more since the last time I checked in with you guys. They're both done. So now we're just waiting on the transcripts to get received from PTCAS. But other than that, references are done, set my GRE scores, observation hours are in. Thing is with me too. Um, um, update on my stuff. Same thing with transcripts. I don't, they don't have mine yet, but they are in the process of being sent. Standardized, te standardized tests are all sent. Observation hours, I'm waiting on one more person to verify them, I think. And then um references i'm still waiting for one more and for me i'm a little upset because i sent in um a full essay draft to the person that's editing my essay and i said that i should probably change my topic which i understand i've been struggling like this whole time to come up with my essay topic but i think i potentially have another idea uh they think that it should be youtube related because they think it's like an impressive thing to bring up and I, I don't disagree with and that. And it stands no. out in terms of like they're gonna read so many different essays you want mm -hmm. something that's unique. But before I write a completely new essay I emailed her to ask about like the topic that I came up with like this specific event. Hopefully she says that's a good idea. Whoops I'm using my computer screen light for this lighting. Hopefully she says it's a good idea and then I can write that and hopefully submit that soon because I just want to get it done. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a quick update on where I'm at with my application. It's August 8th. I actually just got home, so it's like 10 o'clock right now. It's pretty late. But um, I was informed by our mom that one of my transcripts for like the college or the community college that I have credits from came in the mail. So I'm going to finalize and make sure that I don't have to change anything or that I just anything that I might have to on my online ap application. So that's good to go, which means I hope that Iowa, like the transcript from Iowa will be here tomorrow. I think that makes sense if DMAC like got my stuff to me. And then um, I also found out today that the person editing my essay approved, like she thought like, okay, good job, it's finished. So I just have to make like very minor last minute changes and I'll be able to like put that in the essay section as like the finalized version. And then my essay is like, my essay is pretty much done and it's gonna be like done tonight. So, if I were to get my transcript to me tomorrow, I would have a very good chance of submitting like to three of the six schools because I like have the supplemental stuff for each school done for three of them. So that's kind of crazy. I honestly like, I think like at the latest for the other ones I'll submit next Friday, but that'd be great if I could submit to three of them tomorrow. So that's my update. All right, so exciting news. We just got a copy of the final official transcript that we've been waiting on. Um, we did get the one from our community college that we have a few classes at already, but I don't think we mentioned that. I did in my iPhone clip oh, okay. yesterday. And today I also got word from my editor that I hired for my like PTCAS essay that I'm good to go for that. So uh, really like if once we get the stuff put in, which we'll probably do like right after we record this, um, and hopefully that shouldn't take long because we already have most of it entered in. We should be able to submit our application to like three of the schools we're applying to. So 
like crazy. we could potentially like wait to submit to like all of them at once if we had like every single one done but there's really no need to do that especially because, I'd rather like, get them done earlier if I can so. I was one of our top choices so like that's one of the schools we will we'll be able to submit to today by getting stuff done so we just kind of want to like submit that and then other than that we're just waiting for for me because like PT cast which is like the centralized system is waiting on stuff and it's waiting on like uh, we also sent like official transcripts to them so I'm pretty sure they're still waiting to get theirs but they like are all the way in Massachusetts so it's probably gonna take a little bit longer than it is to for us to get it also we can submit our applications before they receive transcripts the are like received by them and also before all of the references are put in so I have two out of my three that have submitted theirs one of mine has not but I can still submit my application it just means that like they kind of have to wait for the last reference but I might as well like submit you know other than that it's like we're actually like starting to submit stuff which is kind of weird, weird. <laughs> all right guys let's try doing this again one two three oh. <laughs> now we submitted it now I'm done I was earlier, like in this vlog, it probably shows it 3 out of 3, but like now I'm, I actually did it, so good. Alright, this should come to no surprise because we literally just talked about this, but as soon as I finished that section, this tab on my application thing popped up with like a little 4 next to it, which means that I now could submit to 4 um, different schools. I said I was only going to do 3 probably just because one of them I only have like a draft of an essay that I'm going to keep working on. We might not be applying to Clark just because I was looking at some more stuff on the website and I don't know how we missed this but I swear we don't have one of their prereqs required which is like cell biology with a lab. Yeah. On PTCast it only says like biology, biological science but on their website specifically it says cell biology and then we were just thinking about it too of like, like you're thinking of like location as like do you want to live there for two to three years and just being like iffy about the prereqs and it's not cheap either like it's one of our more expensive ones but it's in iowa so that was like why we were still thinking about applying to it i just think that more we're thinking about it we're just like and you have to write a separate essay for it so we are kind of like doubting if we're going to apply like to that the, the reason that we are saying this is like we thought about it thinking okay if we didn't get accepted to like literally any other school and only got accepted to clark would we even want to go and to we it. don't know if we would so that's why i think we might have like ha pass on that one um which and you means have to pay for every school that you submit to so it's not just like we'll just like submit anyways and see if you get in it's like additional money for each school yeah okay ready you doing iowa first yeah you want to count down <laughs> i'm just like did i check everything but i know we just did all right three Two, one. I knew I was gonna do that. <laughs> so we did just finish applying to Iowa. Ooh, a little nerve wracking, not gonna lie. Um, I just like, like, honestly, my biggest fear is like, not, you know, how my application is, but I'm just like, did I do everything right? <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of like, we've literally double checked everything and went through all the sections again, and there's not honestly like, that many things that like, can be messed up, but it still is like, just a big deal. I think we're gonna also apply to St. Ambrose right now and then leave the rest for now. So let's do one more. <laughs> this is what my PT cast currently looks like now. Two of them out of the either five or six that I'm going to end up submitting and again I'm gonna try and like get on the other ones too and just finish this all up within the next week hopefully so all right guys it is a very exciting day because today is the day megan and i are finishing applying to all of our schools and also on top of that um, megan has both of her transcripts received by news. pt cast yeah i have one i'm expecting to get the other one hopefully put in today and other than that we're submitting we have our final three schools two done three to go and then we are also deleting one of the schools we mentioned earlier we're not applying to clark anymore um, so yeah, that's exciting. We're going to Starbucks right now to grind it out and get it done. Yeah. We don't have that much more to do, just we have to finish the more school-specific stuff. 9.30, should we set a goal? 11.30? Yeah. Hopefully that's 1130. enough time. We'll be done. And then it's time to go. Technically for Creighton, the questions are optional, but I think we are going to try and answer one of them, so. 
All right, so we are about to submit to two schools, which means after this we'll just have one more. Um, we finished up the short essay for DMU, and then we decided that we're actually not going to do the optional stuff for St. Ambrose, mostly just because, not Ambrose. Oh, Creighton. sorry, Creighton, uh, because it's like our last option school anyways, and it's one of the more expensive ones, and it's also like not required, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> Basically, if we were trying harder, we would do it, but since it's optional, I'm kind of of the mindset of like, they would make it required if that was automatically like not going to be something like a reason they wouldn't accept you, so we're just and rolling again, with it. And again, it's our first choice school. Yeah, so that's why. All right, so we didn't officially like round everything out yeah. yesterday, but we are done applying five schools. All done. Then applied to. So the reason we didn't really finish up recording last night was because it ended up taking us longer than we thought so it was going to, to finish last night. I think we finished around like five or something. Or, yeah. Yeah, it was just late. The little two hour deadline was a little. Yeah. But we wait now and so we have no idea when we're gonna talk to you guys next. Um, probably like late September at the earliest I'm guessing. Otherwise, maybe before, it could be after. Um, we did get an email from UNMC, one of the schools we applied to, just like saying that they don't send out anything interview related until late November, so it just kind of like lets you guys know how long of a wait it is between this portion of the process yeah. and then like the interview portion. So I guess we will see you whenever that is, and for you guys it's just going to be probably the next clip. Yeah. Okay, wow, hi. I am talking to you guys, sorry, much sooner than I was expecting to. Today is August 22nd, and if I'm talking weird, it's because I just got a crown put on my tooth, so this side's kind of numb. I got a voicemail this morning. I didn't answer my call because we were on our way back and we were driving, and I got a voicemail saying it was from St. Ambrose to call back, and yeah, so I did that after my appointment. And I just got offered an interview at St. Ambrose, so it's my first interview offer, which obviously I'm so excited about, and I, like, am excited that I'm, like, getting interview offers. It's just, like, this is kind of, like, gonna be the weird portion of the video where I don't know if, you know, Sierra hasn't gotten anything yet, I don't think. Uh, not to say that, like, they could be getting to her very shortly, or, like, you know, it's just gonna be weird because um, there's no one saying that we have to get the exact same offers, the exact same interview places, and so it's like, while I'm excited, I am, like, kind of nervous to say, hey, Sierra, hey, everyone, I got my first interview, but, uh, that's just kind of part of it, I guess, so, that is going to be September 13th, so it's a Friday, I'm gonna have to miss class, but, like, whatever, you know, you, I'm gonna have to, so, that is my update, and yeah. Hey guys, um, don't mind me, I just showered, which is why I have this on my hair. Uh, but I just got an uh, email from Creighton offering me an interview, so that's really exciting. Um, I have to like finish setting it up, I'm not sure when like the date will be yet. But I was just like on my phone, I was like, oh, I got an email. And at first I just thought it was like, uh, cause usually from the schools that I've applied to, I've been getting like, oh, like we got your application. So I was expecting it to be like that, but they offered me an interview. <laughs> I just logged into the Creighton website, like they told me to make an account, and there's a little thing that says congratulations, you've been selected for an interview. So, I might try and register for that and see what day it works. I'm at the rec right now, and I got a call from another school. Have we said what schools we're going? I guess, yeah. So this, yes. Okay. Uh, I got a call from St. Ambrose saying to call them back, and since that is what happened with Megan, I was like, oh my god, I got an interview, so I called them back, and now I have an interview set up, although it's September 6th, which is one week from today, so that's kind of stressful, but we're excited. So as you guys know, I did submit my application a long time ago, like a couple weeks now, so I guess it wasn't that long ago, but I've been waiting on until today my last recommendation letter to be received. So like I said, I've gotten one interview so far. That school technically only required two different letters of recommendation. So now that my third one is submitted, that means I'm officially eligible for all the schools that I applied to, which means that hopefully coming up soon in the next coming weeks, I will start hearing back from more of those schools. 
which is exciting and I will keep you guys up to date obviously I just wanted to let you know and show you everything complete BAM references completed everything is officially done now and no longer waiting on anything so yeah good stuff September 1st by the way okay guys so I have some really exciting news I just got an email that I got an interview at DMU so I'm so excited <laughs> DMU is one of my top choices so you made it to the first round of like they're gonna interview you so that's yeah. good I'm gonna text people. Hey guys, I actually should have told you this yesterday, but I completely forgot because this ended up happening during the day when I was on campus and so I couldn't find a good time to vlog. And then I forgot, so I obviously just woke up. But yesterday I got my second interview offer from Creighton. So I'm very excited. The interview is not going to be until October 25th because that was the earliest available time they had. But it's really exciting to finally get some a second offer just because Sierra's already had three by now. Um, I wasn't too worried because I technically did only finish submitting all of my stuff on Sunday, and so now that they all had everything in my application, um, it makes sense that obviously I wasn't getting heard from. I didn't hear from other schools until now, so um, yeah, those are both schools that Sierra also has interviews to currently. So yeah. So, I am so sorry if I look like a sweaty mess right now, it's been a long day and I totally forgot to vlog before going into my interview, but I just got done with my first interview at St. Ambrose. I'd say I'm more inclined after the interview to accept an offer from the school if they did offer me a spot in their class. Uh, they had a really nice faculty and it was like a really kind of small campus feel and they're like, just relax, like, you know, it seemed like a really tight-knit community. So, I'm sweating a lot. I'm going to drive home and, you know, now all we do is wait for the school and keep prepping for more. Hey guys, it is September 13th. I am about to go in for my first interview day. This is my interview with St. Ambrose. So, I'm here from around 11 till 2.30. Sierra also has an, interv an interview today at Creighton. So, we are split up right now her day is like from 7 30 to 4 i think so much longer than mine sierra also already had this interview last week and so she was trying to make sure that i was just like remembering it's chill it's fine and to just like be myself i've obviously been practicing my answers obviously not to like sound scripted but to make sure i know what i'm talking about and i'm just trying to be like be yourself be the best version of yourself you can possibly be and it's a good thing i got an interview in the first place so that's all I really have right now. Once I finish the interview, then I will give you a rundown on my thoughts on it and kind of just like what the day was like. So wish me luck, even though this video is already gonna be up by now, but I need it. Hey guys, so I just finished my first interview. It's 2.30 and I mean, overall the day went by pretty fast. I had one of the last interview times, so everyone else was kind of already leaving before I was. And I was interviewed by two of the faculty members, so it was just an individual interview. They had a list of questions that they went through and asked me. For the most part, I feel like the interview went like pretty fine. Like I don't feel like over the top great about it just because I know that I was nervous and I know there's some questions that I could have answered better or worded my answers better. But for the most part, I felt like the content of my answers was there because I practiced that stuff. So I don't know. Um, Overall, I think that that was an okay first experience and if anything, it's just practice for future interviews and yeah, so that was my first experience. Hope you enjoyed. Okay guys, so I just finished up my second interview at Creighton. I totally keep forgetting to record things before the interviews, but I think that's just because I'm like not even thinking about anything in the morning when I'm getting ready. So I have my lovely mother who came with me to <laughs> Omaha. destination is on your left. Oh. Dixon Leeds Science Building. Um, I think overall the inter interview went really well. Feet. Turn Shut right up. onto. No <laughs> I think overall the interview went really well, and I really liked all the staff and faculty. They all seemed really welcoming. They had really nice facilities. Uh, definitely a long day because I had to get there at 7:30, and it's 2:46 now. So, probably one of the longer interview days I'll have, but yeah, I liked it, and we will see what happens. 
and she went to the zoo <laughs> while I was at my interview. So it was a good time. <laughs> Two hours by myself. All right, guys. It is September 18th. Just had a whole day of classes, and I looked at my email and said that Creighton had updated my application status. I'm just start recording my screen. So I'm going to be looking because I'm pretty sure it's like the decision. And we're recording that. And no matter what happens, everything is fine. Okay, I think that when I log in, it's gonna have me like click something to see application status. Hello guys, it is actually the day after Sierra just got yeah. her Creighton interview. Woke uh, up this morning and we both got an email from St. Ambrose that said application decision something. Um, it wasn't an acceptance letter, it wasn't a rejection letter. I'm assuming it was some sort of a waitlist letter, the reason I'm saying but I'll be honest, I'm a little the confused. The postcode is a little ambiguous. I can, I think it just mostly said we're still in the applicant pool. And like decisions will be sent out after the rest of yeah, the interviews. Says, I'm have writing been done. to inform you that you have been selected to remain in the applicant pool for a spring decision. So we mostly like either way it doesn't really matter. Like sure we could probably just like equip, like make that like the wait list. Um, but it's just like we can't tell if they have only admitted early decision people and then like this would be like best case scenario, I guess, for us. As far as like still remaining in the pool. Otherwise I'm guessing they did like reject some people at this point. Or if it was like, no, they have admitted some other people, you're just still like an option, you know? But they didn't use the term waitlisted, so it was a little odd, I thought. Yeah. Um, but I guess not bad news necessarily, just more Kinda waiting. Because I don't want to wait all the way until spring. So I'm hoping that with other schools, I don't have to wait until spring. I'm like, I don't, I wouldn't rather get rejected, but like sometimes you're just like, at least I didn't know. Yeah. So as you just saw, we were in the library when we got some exciting and news. Yeah, we got an email. And both of us. we both got invited for interviews at Iowa. So pumped. Alright guys, so I'm getting ready for my third interview. This is one is at DMU, so I'm actually literally just in my bathroom at my mom's house because obviously I live close enough where I can just drive there. I'm getting ready to leave, but I figured I'd show you guys the outfit since I haven't done a lot of vlogging of the pre-interview process and I feel like I've been forgetting and just doing afterwards. So this is the outfit. Just some black slacks, this blazer from Express, and this shirt's probably like probably from Target, honestly. And then I'm not a heel person, so just like these random little loafer type shoes from Target. I also want to show you guys what's in my purse because I feel like that'd be helpful. So this is the purse. It's from Target. I just wanted a really big one so I could like fit a lot of stuff in it. I keep this in it and it just has deodorant and chapstick and lotion in it just because I feel like whenever I get nervous, you know, I sweat and my lips get chapped and so that's for that. And then I also keep a water bottle in here just because I feel like, you know, obviously you get to stay hydrated and I also just like feel like my throat gets really dry when I get nervous and obviously like this entire day is just like a lot of nerves. And then lastly, the reason why I need such a big purse is I have this padfolio thing. And I didn't even know that you like should bring this stuff until I was talking to my older sister Haley. Basically it just has like a place to take notes. You can bring stuff. I honestly like don't use this that much during the interview, but everyone still brings it and it's just kind of like nice to have on hand. So that's pretty much it. And then I put my car keys and wallet in the purse, but those are upstairs. So I just finished up my DMU interview. I think it went really well. Um, honestly, the interviews were a little bit different than I thought they would be just based off of my two previous interviews. I'm gonna talk down here because someone just pulled up. <laughs> um, but it was definitely like pretty much entirely behavioral questions and not a lot like related to the PT profession. But uh, it went fine, I think, and now we wait. All right, guys. So Megan and I just went to McDonald's, but then on our way out, I saw an email pop, my, pop up on my phone saying it's like 8:30. Yeah, right now. Uh, saying that I got an email from DMU, and so I'm just assuming that it's a decision email. Uh, so we're gonna check it. 
kind of nervous. I also don't know if it says right on the email if I have to log into some online portal, so we'll see. And yeah, kind of nervous, but we're going for it. Okay, so alternate list. The best, the worst, that's my reaction. <laughs> hey guys, so I don't even know if I'm going to include this in the actual video, but I feel like any part of this journey that's been like challenging or that's like difficult we usually like only talk about it but we don't actually show it when it's happening so that's what i'm doing this really doesn't even have anything to do with me it's more so that sierra got waitlisted at one of her top two schools and it just kind of got me thinking about how like yikes there's so much like uncertainty with like where you're going to get accepted or waitlisted or rejected and then it's like got me thinking about myself um <clears throat> so like i've only had one interview and i was waitlisted and then i've got three more lined up which is like great i'm very happy that i have the opportunity to go to those interviews but it's also like you know what if i get waitlisted at another one and then the one after that and then it just kind of makes you a little worried when you start thinking about it too much. So I'm trying to just remind myself that all I can do is prepare the best that I can for each interview. But I definitely am feeling bad that Sierra wasn't able to like celebrate an immediate acceptance like we did for her first school. But I'm also like, at least she has a school and I don't yet. So I don't know. I'm just processing some stuff. My great interviews tomorrow. I'm practicing um, some of the stuff for interviews, just like working on eye contact and um, just making sure that I know what I'm gonna talk about if they ask certain questions. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I probably won't do this for that much longer, but um, probably gonna do this a little bit in the morning too, but I also want to make sure that stuff sounds natural, so I'm not gonna do like too much rehearsing, but I want to make sure that I have like all the points covered for different scenarios that I feel like they might ask about. Hello everyone, it is just past nine o'clock and I cannot believe I'm getting ready to go to what I think will be my last interview for this cycle. Today I have my interview at Iowa, I'm incredibly nervous because I just want it to go so well, but I'm having positive thoughts. I've been practicing, so hopefully by the time it's over, I feel kind of a sense of relief. And yeah, Megan's interviewing today at Creighton, so hopefully uh, she's doing well. Yeah, can't say I'm gonna miss this nervous feeling, but it's so weird because you want to like do so well but then you like get so nervous and your nerves like do not help you so yeah that's kind of where i'm at right now hey guys so um today is my third interview day and then tomorrow i have my fourth and final one so it's halloween today and i wanted to let you guys know what i was wearing this is usually what i've been looking like for interview days. Um, I've worn a couple different shirts, but this is from Target. These pants are from Target, and then this jacket is from Express. I really like this jacket. Um, and then this bag is just what I carry all my stuff in, and it's from Target too. So let's chat. So I woke up to just kind of go over some of the questions, even though like they don't, you don't know what questions they're going to ask, but I was going through just like what theoretically some of my answers could be and making sure that I have stories that I could refer to or examples of stuff and I like literally just sit in front of my mirror and like talk out loud to my mirror. Um, so I was doing that this morning. I did some of that last night as well. And yeah, so today is, I have to be there at 9.30 and we are done at three. 
and both my interviews, I have two interviews today, they are both like one-on-one -on -one interviews and they're only about like 25 minutes each and then after I finish those, I am done. So it's the very last thing that I have to do, except unless I have to do like a tour afterwards, it just kind of depends on what my actual schedule is. But yeah, I shouldn't have interviews until like probably one o'clock or something. So I'm trying to like not get stressed right away. I definitely woke up and I was like, eh. But yeah, so I didn't even talk about how my Creighton interview I thought went, even though I don't get a decision until next week probably, but I do think it went well, about as good as I like think it could have gone. So I left feeling well, I left feeling well. I left feeling good about it. Um, so hopefully I can leave today feeling pretty good. But yeah, I have DMU today and then I went tomorrow and then I am done and I start carrying back. So that's what's going on. Hey, so I just wanted to give a quick recap of how I thought my interview went. I have my last one tomorrow, probably at Iowa. And I thought today's interview went well. I think that it went as good as I can. Like I feel about as good as I can about it. And now I wait for their response. I think that they had some tough questions, but they did kind of say like going into it. See, now that you like have been, because I've been telling her, I was like, is this kind of like a weird interview compared to like the other one? It was like overall, like, and the faculty was nice. So like, I didn't feel too pressured but you have to kind of take a second or a minute or something to really think about the question that they're asking to come up with a good example because even if I had like, I had a bunch of situational stuff in my head that like showed something, but then they would ask like such a specific question that I'd be like, wait, does this even apply? And then I'd have to like think of something else. So overall it was good. I'm obviously glad to be done now and I've got one more tomorrow, so we will catch you guys then. Maybe I'll probably still get a couple clips for that, but it's going to be the exact same thing as it has been for this whole interview thing of me getting ready and whatnot. But next week, I think I start hearing back from schools. So, and then for like the next couple weeks, we'll have that stuff popping up. Oh, and also our cousin is, so DMU has multiple health profession programs. They have a um, osteopathic medicine degree, a DO degree, um, and one of our cousins is actually a first year medical student there, so I actually ended up running into her just by chance today, um, so yeah, anyways, that was, I liked the campus, uh, I guess if you want to call it a campus, I liked the facilities, they were all very nice, so, um, yeah. Okay, so we cannot find my DMU decision reaction anywhere, we've checked a million different SD cards, it was essentially the same reaction as Sierra's because we both got waitlisted, I was a little less emotional about it because I already knew Sierra got waitlisted, so my hopes were already well, like, you say that a little bit. Uh, Megan never mentioned, like, when she was crying after, like, my decision that, like, I was in my room, like, pretty much yeah. bawling for, like, an hour. So that's why she's saying she was less emotional because she, like, I didn't did do that. <laughs> cry for an hour. So, yeah. Back to the video. So today is the day of my Iowa interview. I'm probably going to leave in a little over a half hour. And today is most likely my last interview. So the setup for today is there's going to be, most of the stuff is in the beginning and then the interview and tour or towards the end. I don't know what one I'm doing first. I'll find out when I get there. And the interview format for today is it's going to be me with two other faculty members or I think alumni from the program. And it's just gonna be a 25 minute interview around. Um, so I guess better in terms better than yesterday in terms of like not having as much actual interview time. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm trying to just, I haven't been doing that much practice this morning just because I feel like I've already practiced a lot and you can't really prepare for all of the questions. So I've just kind of been taking it easy this morning and trying to relax a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a shorter day. I only am there from 1045 till probably three. Whereas yesterday and for Creighton, I was there much earlier and still left around the same time. So wish me luck. I will update you guys when I finish the interview to let you know how I did. And then we're going to end up waiting to hear back from all the schools. All right, I am officially back for my interview. I just wanted to give a quick recap of the day and how I thought things went. Overall, I thought things went really well. The interview was literally only 20 minutes with me and two other people and like I said it's not like I said I just found out I guess what the actual questions were it was very conversational based and I feel like a lot of other programs 
say that, but this was like genuinely more conversation based and like not hard to think of the answers. And whereas like the one yesterday was so much more behavioral based questions that kind of catch you off guard a little bit. But either way, just different interview styles. They want to get different things out of the interviews, but I really liked the interview today. I thought it went well and got to interact with these staff and students a little bit. Got a tour of the campus, which was all really nice. I kind of already know this campus a little bit. So it was just kind of like going to different sections that I don't usually go to for my classes right now. But yeah, so if you're back anywhere from November 15th to January 1st, so kind of a large range and they're not done interviewing people yet, but we will definitely keep you guys updated, obviously. I was trying to think of something else I was gonna say. Oh, one of the two people that was interviewing me actually happened to be someone I job shadowed before and I didn't know that was going to happen. It wasn't in the back of my mind that it could happen because I knew she mentioned that she sometimes did do interviews here and she graduated from the program but the fact that i happened to look at my sheet and like i saw her name and i happened to be assigned to her i was like what are the odds of that so she recognized me as well so that was just a fun thing that was kind of like okay i already know this person so overall it went well and now we will wait all right i am checking my creating decision right now so yeah <laughs> There's no like good way to intro this stuff. That should say right. because we're in our like a museum at our school but we both got actually interview... I was just gonna say finish things Thank yeah you. we both just got interview offers from UNMC which is really like nice they definitely like warmed my heart a little bit but we'll be birds it's part of the exhibit yeah we will be declining those interviews just because it's not our top choice school and we also realize it's more expensive yeah. than create I should already got to it anyways except it is so, so but it's like we've got interviews at all of our schools we apply to yeah. so pretty good Hey guys, long time no talk. Um, I think that our last video is probably us being like, next time you see us, like, we'll have our Iowa decision. And we actually have been patiently waiting for that. And it's December 29th. What? 30th. Oh, sorry, it's the 30th. And we've been saying like, oh, like we're supposed to know by January 1st. We both just got an email saying that they're actually extending the deadline until January 16th. So not good or bad, but we're gonna have an extra amount of time we gotta wait now. So keep waiting, I guess. Okay guys, you're gonna have to bear with us. This is not where I thought I was going to be when I was opening up our Iowa decision. Um, we just got the email. We're in Europe still. And we're in Nice, France. It's January 16th or January 15th at 9.30 at night, which means it's like 2.30. In the afternoon there and i didn't think we we're going to get the email until like 6 p.m because that's when they've been sending other emails which would be 1 a.m here so i was like we'll probably get the email tomorrow morning because that's going to be like when the deadline is but i looked at my email and we got the email and i know that you open the email and they have the decision in an attached sheet and so i'm just telling you guys this now because i don't know when to open it yet because there's so many there's only one like best possible outcome, and there's a lot of other possibilities. We don't know how our reaction will be. Oh my god! I guess I could like open my email at least. Just like open it.
both got in. What? <laughs> Guess who got into Iowa? Yes. <laughs> We're crying. <laughs> Do you have good timing? I just, just found out now. Yeah. We just got the email and checked. They had to go in the hallway. Yeah. yeah. And our mom heard us crying because we were crying before we even opened the email. <laughs> so I thought it was bad. Great. So we wanted to kind of talk about our final reaction and finish up the video by, I don't know, just, just giving our final thoughts. Uh, kind of rounding everything out, I guess, uh, to officially say what school we're going to. If it wasn't clear enough, we will be going we're to going the University of Iowa. Iowa. Uh, which was our top choice school, so it's so crazy that, like, we already started editing parts yeah. of this video, and looking back at the first clip that we took in July, it's like, seems like it was forever ago, but also seems like it wasn't that long ago, mm -hmm. and this whole journey has just been such a long process. Yeah. Um, in the video, we started crying before we even opened up the emails, and I think that, um, well, one, means and are just emotional people, so there's that, but then <laughs> also I think that when you're going through the process, with a twin, which I know is probably going to be a very small number of people that are doing that, but you're not only worried about what your decisions are, but what is your decision going to be compared to your other, like your sibling. And so for us, it was like, not only are you opening up like your email or your decision for your top choice school, but it's like, what happens if neither of us get in? What happens if one of us gets in and one of us doesn't? Like there were so many different things going on in our head. And so I think we we're just like super emotional in that sense. And we're just super lucky that for every school, our decisions ended up being the same because I think that made it easier on us. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. I think that for me, the biggest reason I was crying, which like you can hear me say in the video, I'm just like, if I don't open it, then like there's still a chance. And like, I was just really afraid of like, you know, being totally let down and just like, you know, we've been like wanting to do PT for like the past three or four years of our lives. And it just seems like everything. And at that, that point I've we already doing, had a decision from Creighton that we would have been happy to go to like we both really yeah. liked Creighton but you don't want to get let down by your top choice school because it's yeah. your top choice just like anyone that's applying to undergrad schools has that same reaction when they're opening up decisions we never had that experience because we just knew we were going to go to Iowa and it's not that hard to get into but this was like kind of that experience for us where we had to put in the work and see what schools wanted us and what schools didn't so so very happy with all of the things that happened. I think that we're really lucky for this entire process because I know not everyone is as lucky to get into a school their first year that they apply or, you know, like we're very lucky we got interviews at every school and so um, definitely not taking that for granted. We also want to do a completely separate video uh, talking about stats, things that we would do differently maybe if we applied, also answering your guys' questions if you are interested in PT or planning on applying or just have any questions for us um, about the entire process. We will do that yeah. coming up shortly, but yeah, that kind of concludes. Like that's the end of this video, which is yeah. so weird because last summer when we were like, like getting ready to I apply, the last thing I would have expected is just like the outcome that we got. It's crazy. When we were getting ready to open up the emails, like 95% of me thought we were going to get waitlisted. Probably, like I thought that we'd most likely get waitlisted instead of rejected. But like I fully thought that was going to happen, and so it was such a shock when that wasn't the case. But it's just so weird that. Back in July when we were like, we knew we wanted to record this whole thing. Like, we're actually done with it now. Yeah. And so... so it's been our little baby for the past, like, but, what, six months? Yeah. Just wow. us going and getting all these clips was a lot of work. It was. But <laughs> it's so cool that we're going to stay at the same school that we went to undergrad for and that we just love so much. So, yeah. If you guys like this yeah. video, give it a thumbs up. We put if a lot you, of effort into it. If this is your first time watching us, because I think it could be if you're, like, into PT, um, make sure you subscribe because we're gonna be posting Eventually we will be starting a PT lot more school. upcoming PT content. Uh, probably just like what it's like to be a grad student, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.